Hi everybody, Richelle here from Quebec Cyclidé. Today I am going to show you how to wash new substrate. So I was feeling very inspired this week after meeting up with my friend Isabella from Aquazone Montreal. She has her own YouTube channel and she actually inspired me to start my YouTube channel. Every time we meet up, we're always talking and we get so excited and we brainstorm and now like I'm so excited I wrote a bunch of articles so this article is obviously going to be a reference in other articles that I wrote and I was missing information about how to do this so here you have it now back to the subject what you're going to need is a bucket substrate and a hose that you are going to be able to plug onto your tap for substrate the rule of thumb is about one pound per gallon of water. So if you have a 50 gallon tank, you can buy 50 pounds of substrate and that should give you a good one and a half to two inches depending on the surface of your aquarium. For those of you who are curious, the one I'm using today is the uh, Supernaturals Torpedo Beach Sand, which is a beautiful white sand that doesn't raise the pH. It's pH neutral, it's for tropical fish, community fish and Basically everything that's not African cichlids or uh, a reef aquarium. So put the substrate in the bucket and don't fill it up too much because you don't want to hurt your back on this. So bring your bucket into the sink if you have one of these industrial sinks. You can also do it outside with just a regular house hose that's plugged into the house with cold water. Turn the water on, fill the bucket up and let it overflow. Mix the substrate in the water to really take out all the dust. The better you clean it now, the less cloudy your water is going to be later on. If you don't clean your substrate well, all that dust will go right into your water when you fill up your tank and it'll be cloudy. Let it go until the water comes out clear. Try not to lose all those little rocks. You put a little recipient to catch them. It's okay if there's some water left in the bucket. It's going in the aquarium, it's clean water anyways. Once that's done, just put it in the aquarium and you're ready to go. So obviously I forgot to mention this because I found my packet in the water while I was filling it up. Most substrates come with a biomagnet clarifying product. It helps precipitate all the dust. If ever you didn't clean your substrate well and your aquarium is cloudy, it's okay. You can put this product in or just wait and the dust will settle. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get a notification every time I post a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.